What's going on guys? Welcome back to another free-to-play game which is available on Steam. Uh, it's called Panzer and it's a, it's a Russian company who made it and and that's why there's a lot of Russian players playing this game. But it's actually a really good game if you can get around all the Russians if you're not Russia. Because I'm not Russia and I don't understand what they're saying. But I do really enjoy this game and you don't really need to be able to speak Russian to enjoy this game. So uh, let's get started. I have a few characters here. Uh, I'm gonna do more matches of this in the future, but for now I will just show you guys probably one character or something. So I don't know which one I'm, I'm going with. I have here a Berserker, which is basically a heavy uh, damage dealer. He also has uh, quite a lot of health, but it's not really a tank. Uh, we got a Sapper, which is basically like a support and uh, he can lay traps down and stuff like that. And then we have our, our Sinister of Fire, which is uh, like basically a fire mage. He's like really, she's like really squishy, she dies pretty quick, but he, she can do a lot of damage with fire. And then we got a Frost Witch, Frost Witch which is basically, yeah, it's an Ice, ice uh, Mage, but she can like uh, hold players into place with uh, with the Ice spell. You will see that once we get in the game and we will encounter some. And then we also have a tank which has a lot of health and a lot of defense. And yeah, it's, it's a pretty good, uh, pretty good counter there. For example, uh, a tank can bring up a shield around their team to su support them from like ranged attacks, which is pretty cool. But you will see it once we get in the game, and I will explain what the, what he's doing and stuff like that. We got here a paladin, which is basically a healer. That's basically what he, he does. Uh, we got a gunner, which basically can deploy a uh, machine gun, and then he can uh, like yeah just support the team from a distance. They are really annoying. Uh, they kill pretty quick. It's really high damage what they do. Uh, but you will see this also in game when we get in there. This is basically a uh, basically a counter for the gunner. Uh, like when the gunner is blocked down, this one can go invisible, and he can go behind the gunner and take him out. Uh, so yeah, well, let's see what we go with. Uh, what character are you going with? The gunner. Uh, he's going with the gunner. So uh, uh, I don't know what I'm going with yet. Let's see what we go here. Oh, yeah, sorry about my cat in the background. Shut up! That is so annoying. I don't know what I'm going with. I don't know. They're all fun to play. Um, how does it go with? I don't know. I really don't know. Also, this game is built on the Cry Engine, which is quite cool. I didn't even notice that before, but uh, I noticed my fan actually makes a lot of noise when I play this game, so I was like, hmm, it's a pretty happy game, I think. So I do apologize for that in the background. I think I'm going to go with the Gunner too, so you guys can see that. Uh, there will be more videos of this in the future, me playing different classes, but there won't be like a, a free-to-play game. This is going to be one video for a free-to-play game. So I will first show you guys the shops. Um, here you can craft stuff. Uh, I do have to f say that many things are have to be uh, purchased because here's a percent of chance you actually can craft this. So, so mo most of these weapons you can actually craft, but it takes the time to actually do it. For example, yeah, some have just a really low chance, but then we have like potions. Well, you start with 100 potions of both uh, heal, mana, and stamina. But the thing is here, you have only 10% chance of actually crafting that uh, if you want to get extra potions. So basically, when you run out of the 100 potions, you're not going to get any new potions. Because I can show you guys what you need for crafting it. These things are not... Mm, I actually have them. You don't have that 50. No, I don't have 50. You need 50 of this, forever. which is, uh, takes forever to get. And yeah, or you have to buy it with real money. Uh, it's not too expensive, but yeah, as I can show you guys, for example, if you uh, go with... Yeah, I see like Homeless Crystal is only 4 euros, so if you really do want to support the game, you can do that. But uh, yeah, there's like down little downsides like this that you have to... Um, you have to like pay money in order to get potions, because there's so little chance that you actually get these potions. So most of the time it will just fail and you can't craft new ones. So that kind of sucks. Uh, yeah, there's a lot more here that are kind of that's kind of sucky. Same with some armors. It took me like so many times just to make a little bit of armor. I can show you guys, for example, I can craft something. Like this one. I don't have this one yet. I have the materials for it so I can craft it. But most of the time it just, just basically fails. Even though you have really high chance. See, as you can see, it just breaks right away. And I can show you guys again. So these are the only downside. It says 70% chance of most, but it's more like 30% chance of that to get it. So now I got it uh, successful, but which is great. Uh, let's try another more. I'll just show you guys a few more. Oh, no, I don't want to buy that with money. Sorry about that. Uh, let's go with another one. 
And now all of a sudden he was here and, and he was successful. Okay? Mm. I said nothing. <laughs> but yeah, that's basically the shop. You, uh, sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you don't. Uh, there's uh, the, it's 70% chance, but I, it, I think it's a little bit less. I don't believe it's 70 you. I mean, I've broke so many armor pieces. Uh, let's just try one more time and then we'll see if uh, if I was right or not. 60% chance. There should be a really high chance. Well, high. Should be a pretty decent chance to get it. And now you, you can actually trade in other materials you get. When you play the game you get more materials and you can trade them in for something that you don't have. So that's a good thing. And now we can do another crafting. And actually successful. So yeah. I don't know. I I just have really bad luck with that. So always when you do a video, it always uh, all of a sudden you have all the luck in the world. Uh, anyway, when you get get uh, when you bought everything in the shop, uh, you can then move on to the upgrading. Which, for example, I want to upgrade my boots. It's a random chance you will actually get a really good upgrade. So you have to pay 11 gold, which you always gain by playing the game. So that's a good thing. So as you can see, I get 1.7% uh, health bonus and a mastery bonus. So if we do this, uh, when it's in here, it basically never breaks. I never really had it. I had it in yellow. I never had it breaking either. But I think it's in red. You have a high chance of breaking it. And I usually do it like plus five. But you can go really high if you want to. But it's just going to cost you more money. See, so it basically never breaks in yellow either. So I'm going to make them quickly plus five, and I'll show you guys if it barely breaks. So I got this one plus five now, and we do this one too. Quickly do it. You can actually uh, do it really quickly by just keep clicking it, even though the, the hammer thing is still down. Okay, like now we got a really high chance, so there's a chance it's gonna break, but I really haven't had that happen at all at yellow. You? Have you had a break at yellow? Mm, maybe once or twice. In, in the upgrading? Yeah, I don't know. I haven't had that happen yet. Let's see if we can make it happen. This yellow piece doesn't break. But yeah, the higher it will be, the higher uh, higher the bonus will be, so... So I'll just keep it at plus 5 for now. And you can go to the altar, which is basically uh, the skill tree. As you can see here, you can learn all the skills. If you press the question mark, you will get a, a short video on YouTube how to see the armors. Uh, I don't know if it's actually a record, but uh, it might. As you can see, that's quite cool that you can see what's going to happen. And uh, here we have the fitting room, which is basically a, a cash shop for cosmetic stuff. There is some stuff you can craft, but it's not much. Uh, here's all the stuff. You do get some bonus here from XP bonus, as you can see from combat. Uh, yeah, that's basically it, all that you can do here. You get social, all your friends and stuff like that. And all your charities, of course. Uh, so yeah, uh, this is all your character status here. You can actually open it up and you can see everything. Your movement speed, your blocking. So let's go start into a battle. Uh, wait, let's first go and fight my friend real quick. Uh, we will quickly go into a battle and then you guys... There is one downside. The, the battle sometimes take quite long to, before it starts. So... Uh, you, the cool thing, however, is when you are waiting for a game to start, you can actually alt tap it, and when you like, when the game starts, it will actually open up the window. So it's cool if you like watch YouTube videos and uh, the game is ready, then it will open up for you, so you know. So yeah, guys, there's actually so two main types that you can do. You can either do a cool PVE and then PVP. PVE is really hard, but uh, the rewards pretty good if you win. A PVP are quick matches, well, quick. They take, they can take up to 20 minutes or something like that. But uh, they can also end up like 10 minutes or 5 minutes, depending really on how good your team does. So we're gonna start a PvP and I will see you guys in game. So what's going on guys? We currently are in game. This is uh, we're still the warming up time, time for battle. Uh, all people can basically do stuff around here. There's no dead uh, penalties here, so you can basically jump down if you want to. And it doesn't do anything. You can. There's no... There's just to make everybody get connected in time. So yeah, it's not really a bad thing to jump down if you want to. At this time at least. Don't do it in game because then you will lose. Uh, I died also. Yeah, you can die, but it's not like it's going to be bad for your score or anything like that. Uh. There's also no, no kill dead on screen, which is kind of weird, but you, you will see the ones we get in game. I am currently am the gunner class, which basically is a class that built guns. You'll get a little bit of bad FPS, but sorry about that. It is the cry engine, so 
and I can only record this for some reason with fraps, which sucks. But hey, it's, it's just to show you guys what the game is about anyway. So as you get, uh, I press Q, you can see the names when you press Q. So you basically have a normal hit, which is basically this. You have a right mouse hit, which is a power attack. And then you can block with control. So me and uh, Hermit currently are a gunner class, so we basically can build down these guns here. Wanna put them down, get in, and shoot all the uh, red enemies, as you can see. These cars are pretty good for getting kills and supporting the team as well with uh, a lot of damage. You can see. So if they do get overheated, which kind of sucks. You have to put some traps down so the enemies can't get to us. Uh, I, 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 I can actually play three as well now, which is good. Uh, let me zoom in a little bit so you guys can see the gun on. Alright, shoot him down, one kill. So yeah, this is not really showing you guys what the game is about, but I will do more few videos of this to show you guys all the classes. As you can see, this is the tank putting off his shield, which basically means that he can actually block the range damage. So like all the classes are kind of like, uh, like, okay, now we can't basically do anything to him, so okay. let's go and uh, attack him by man. Ah, he doesn't even notice me. Oh, he did, an, he did a pretty strong attack on me and I did lose some health. As you can see, I have 80 potions as well, which, which I started with. So. I think you might want to put it down here, if you can. No, you can put it on the bridge. Oh, stop lying. So yeah, we have to c uh, capture all the points to continue uh, the game, but they have a lot of stuff here. Oh, yeah, so we have a lot of time. So yeah, my my character is pretty squishy compared to uh, other 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 classes. Yeah, this tank keeps putting up his shield, so we can't use any range attacks, so I'm just gonna go in and fight. He would just walk over my trap. They actually are in multiple uses, so they, they are smashing them down, so... They can actually break it by hitting it. Yeah, they have a tank, but our range basically does nothing anymore. So as, as long as you're in your tank you can't be damaged, but if you get out you get damaged. <laughs> you can see he's pushing forward. We need to get... where's the rest of our team anyway? I haven't seen anyone. I'm going to put my gun down here. And then you can also upgrade it when you get high enough level. And then it, it basically becomes a little bit stronger. Command to me in because I need to see a little bit better. Yeah, I got a kill there. Damage. So yeah, like I said, only basically only Russian people play. A lot of Russian people play. I have barely seen any English people. But hey, it's not a bad game. I actually really enjoy it. There's just some cash up uh, stuff that I don't really like, but you can get around it. I mean, you don't really need potions, but they are helpful though. Uh, if your team have like a healer and like a sapper, for example, you can basically get uh, all the support you need. But yeah, help, heal potions are a great way to survive. Uh, I got another kill. I think he died too. So the, yeah, the downside on the gunner is that you do it do get overheated, but uh, I guess it's more of a balance issue otherwise. And the game is pretty much balanced because everyone has the same. Uh, same classes available. I mean, basically, you see, the only difference you can see the enemies, they have like a banner on the back, which is red now. As you can see, that's an enemy. And also, when you have Q enabled, like with the names, okay, for example, if you don't want to see all the names, you can play like this, but then you have to look at the banners. See, the banners are enemies, but if you press Q, you can basically see the red names and just go and connect them back. Put some trap down. So we want to put a trap behind him. And they killed him. Yeah. 
Yeah, there's more the uh, Berserk class, which is uh, high damage. You want to hear right mouses, so you can basically knock back people, which is pretty cool in an area like this. You can get knocked down, you can like knock them down and all the way down, which is really fun. And also, most uh, maps also have like little uh, traps you can activate, which uh, help sometimes helps you uh, get by a lot of enemies like this. As you see, here's a trap, so you want to keep your distance and just hit them, and you will break them. Don't walk in them because they do quite a lot of damage. Oh god, they got me. He took my gun, he can actually steal my gun. See if you can find Hermit? Oh no, I already respawned. This is teleport device, which can build the uh, sacro class, which is a uh, which can make you get faster to the location you need to go. And this is the like the annoying class, which always always trolls like uh, weaker classes. As you can see, that's one of the traps available there. See, I don't I know how. Do they're swinging I things. Yeah, I don't know how to how to activate it There's though. A button there. Where? There. This one? I think so. Uh oh, what did the guy do? Fuck up. I got a kill. I have to be careful with these traps, they do a lot of damage, but you can see them usually. So. Oh! Hello. I got potions now that I can use. As you see, they fully heal you, so that's why they're nice, but they, like I said, you can only get them if you uh, purchase. Because 10% chance is never gonna happen. It's just too low chance of ever getting a successful. And then you only get like 50%. For my class, it's pretty good to stand on traps because then they, uh, when they get over here, they get damaged. And I can still hold my block because when I get a full power hit of this classes, I'm almost like instantly dead. Not fully dead, but. Pretty quickly. And I should be planting down my gun, which I'm not doing for some reason. There we go! Shoot him down! Kill. There's the gun. So maybe this class wasn't the most fun to show you guys in the first video, but I will show you guys more uh, classes in the future. So I think I'll just start recording more matches. Depending how this uh, match turns out though, I mean, I'm playing sometimes at 20 FPS, which kind of sucks. And I have no other program to record this way. My gun for some reason doesn't work. <laughs> It costs mana, so they will drop it eventually. And we need to capture as well, man. We're gonna lose this one. Yep, but we can't do anything. <laughs> well, I might record another one after this. Because, oh, as you can see, that's a knockback. I'm not dead yet. But they can actually finish you off if they're good. I do apologize for the cat in the background. He's like really annoying. Yeah, they, they other, other teams to be a lot better. We, we haven't even captured that point yet, so I think I'm just gonna go and see if I can hold the position long enough. Yeah. I got three traps here now. Right, someone else is using your gun. Our enemy team. Ready? I knocked one down with the traps. 
So we got uh, we got the point. We can now move to the next one. Yeah, kill this. Uh, we have to go down. No, we need to capture the next point. Oh yeah, there's fall diamonds. Just to keep you guys heads up. I can do here, but I'll wait for my backup to come. I mean, they basically are not doing me any damage to me anyway, because when I'm in the gun. And he just ran out of mana? No, he did. He still has his shield up, so I can't do much. If you're still close, you can shoot uh, towards the I can't see. Look at, yes. Yeah, he just lost his mana, so I can't. Uh, uh, shooting, keep shooting, do damage. Do damage helps. Okay, no, I just lost the battle. Fuck! I think I'm just gonna go and play some more uh, traps on the, on the spot there. I think it's all off, man. Oh man. Yeah, when you run too hard, you sometimes get over the ashes there. Like over the uh, wire. So you can steal the guns also, I see. Yeah, if they, they replace their own, they, this one just gets destroyed. Did you know that? No. If somebody steals yours. Here we teleport here. He teleports also all the way back down. I'll place traps and shit. Yeah, me too. You just run into the computer and place traps as much as you can. Knock down. And now block as much as you can. Oh, somebody just threw rocks. Like, that's one of the traps you can actually activate. <laughs> I don't know where you can activate them, but they are there. And they kill you if you kill them. There's a guy here, a naked gun. I think most of the naked guys, they uh, upgraded their armor too far and it broke. That's what I think at least. I kill them. Alright, let's go down here. See how I'm doing. I'm third place on the score. Hermit is first. Gunners always do quite well, to be honest. But yeah, the game looks really good in my opinion. Uh, of course, it does look like a fire engine. But as you can see, uh, when the bottom bullet, you can see the damage you're doing. So if, if you see the numbers, you can actually uh, you know you're actually doing damage. So that's so good. Oh, something just broke. I forgot to upgrade my armor, and now this guy's coming, and I'll just kill him because he's a healer anyway. Oh, and he killed me. <laughs> oh yeah, I should have known. He has like full armor on this guy. That's Hermit. Dying. So yeah, I'm trying to do uh, more matches of this in the future, uh, just different difficulties, uh, just different maps, and different classes so you guys can see them. I will try to do it more li later in the level so you can actually see more different skills, uh, as I'm, I'm now currently only level 5 so. weapon and killed me. No, that was a good time. Let's go and watch uh, Hermit. Here he is. But yeah, it's really good, a really fun game if you like to play it every now and then. So I think the max level is 30. Uh, at least I saw a cash shop where you can buy your character of, of, of level 30. So I'm assuming the max level is 30. But yeah, many games have this. So Robocraft has this, where you can buy uh, robots. So I think we need we need to go and catch that point, man. We need we need to. Yeah, no, no much to here. And I got another kill.
teleport to find him. Oh, well, one guy's behind me. I forgot to put traps behind me. Did we go back in the machine? do damage to you when you're like a small fry like me. But yeah, later in the game you also learn new skills where you can like cool down your, uh, your gun. So you can keep shooting. And you can also like swap the gun I saw. Which is pretty cool. Oh fuck yeah, that's one of these uh, annoying guys. He's not coming for you, man. He's heading up there. Yeah, he's going for you behind you now. He just went invisible. Alright. Run, mister! He's coming! He's not. Oh, well, he just went invisible. Maybe he's like he scared of the traps. Right there. Oh, he's right here, see? Yeah. You get him from behind? Oh, he run. It's like 900 damage. He's healing, man. Man, they are winning, man. I, feel you. I got a feeling like they have many more players than we have, or what? No, it's actually uh, bad team. I mean, look. Weird. I mean, like, we have no chance. They have, like, full control over that uh, defense point. Control point, I mean. Well, now they can't get behind you anymore. Oh. <laughs> For some reason you can't place them on like staircase. Oh, I could actually place them here. The port skills basically uh, relocate for your gun. Why did he go in front of me? No idea. I'm doing a lot of help about that. and he keeps healing with his skills so not much as I can do there so I'll, I'll make a run for it yeah we only have like one minute left <laughs> I wanted to go show you guys a nice match but at least you get a little bit of an idea what the game is about and yeah this, I mean, just made it visible and he fell down it's a really cool game, I uh, will make more videos in the future if you guys are interested in playing this game then uh, there will be a link in the description below where you can get the game. And yeah, as I, remember, as I said before, the game is totally free to play, however if you wanna fully enjoy it, I don't really think you need to buy potions, but yeah, like I said, it makes it a little bit easier. There are these marks on the floor which do regenerate your health if you stand on them. But it takes really long, as you can see, it just doesn't regenerate fast enough. But hey, there is a way you can heal, so... By default you don't uh, heal uh, any health back, unless a healer heals you, or a, a snapper, which basically puts the uh, totem paws down here, as you can see. Which you can then turn to uh, healing as well. But you do start out with Honda Potions, so use them wisely, don't spend them too right away. So as you can see we lost, uh, you do get experience for losing as well, but not as much as winning, but that's, that makes sense, right? You do get experience for everything you do in the game, so even if you like destroy a little dwarf building, you do get experience for that. 
If you did a, a, a mini power strike, you will get experience for that. Normal strikes, mini blocks, you will get experience for that. So we just lost. And the, so as you can see, I, I ended up here. Uh, Hermit ended up there. You can see all the people score. And as you can see, this guy has a lot of experience, different types. And I got experience for uh, damage, uh, kills, and attacks. You can see your kills at the end. Uh, I got 11 kills. I died 12 times. I got some dwarf structures destroyed, like a teleporter device and that sort of stuff. I destroyed some traps, which I gave me experience too. I think it's also uh, experience for placing traps, but I'm not sure. Uh, here you can see cannons, which I used. So then you go to your rewards, which basically so ends guys, up... This is the recording, uh, the reward system, where you can... Uh, Sometimes you get the slider and you can either choose to get more experience or you can choose to have more gold. So I choose to get more experience. These are the materials you get from winning. Uh, if you are a VIP user, which is basically like a premium user, you get some more materials like this, as you can see over here. So yeah, uh, so that's basically this game. If you like it, check the link in the description and uh, have a great day guys. See you guys later. Uh, one second, I'll show you guys. Uh, you can now learn new skills as you can see. I don't know what I'm going for yet. Um, teleport, maybe. I don't know, Barry is also pretty cool. I don't know yet, but I'll, I'll figure it out. I think I'll go with Barry, yeah. that's pretty cool. Anyway, see you guys later. Bye!